Yo guys, got a new video out for you today. So basically, I want to show you how to reverse tether your connection from your computer straight to a device, i.e. if you are headset. Yeah, so there's many benefits to doing this. And one of them is stable performance, less blue screens, entering the game quicker and a lower ping. Yeah, so yeah, so before I was using an adapter, network adapter, so basically to connect um, to my PC. And I found this really sort of like tedious to do. I mean, to set up a network ad adapter and then enabling tethering uh, within the headset environment but um, no longer I need to do that with this method yeah so we're gonna get started with this one yeah right so the first thing you want to do is you want to get all these, these files so I've got links in the description and the first thing is a uh, narite yeah narite or, or however you say it yeah and this is on github so I've got a link there you want to download the file which is latest on the right hand side as you can see Put it on the desktop and the second one is Java here. Yeah? So if you don't have Java installed, get it from the link as well. Make sure you get the 64 bit. Um, place it on the desktop and last but not least is the SDK platform. Right, so we've got the three files here on the desktop. And we're gonna extract the files from the Nary Tech onto the desktop. Rename the folder to whatever you want. Obviously, I'm going to put down reversed tethering. Once you've done that, drag drop the files into the folder, like so. Open the platform tools, drag drop them onto the desktop as well. So now I've got two folders here. Now, uh, pay attention to this because all we want basically, you want the three files which is the ADB files, yeah? So once you bang them into the, the, the Nary Tech folder, it's sorted there. Next thing you don't wanna do, when I open Java, as long as you can see, I've already installed this, so I'm not gonna reinstall it again. Yeah, so that's all complete now. So we'll go back into the Nary Tech folder, and we wanna get the APK file, and drag drop it down into the VR headset. Make sure it's connected at this time. Right, so we're in the VR environment now, and what we want to do is enable USB debug. And in order to do that, we need to go to General tab, go on to About, and click it for about seven, eight times. Once that's done, you'll see a Developer tab right there, underneath the General. So if you click on that, we've got a USB debug now. Enable that, click OK, and now this will allow us to uh, run the APK now. So where we installed the APK, click, click on that and install it, simple, yeah. Right, going back to the desktop now, we're going to the reverse tethered folder. We want to get the command up. So we want to click up, up on top, CMD, and you'll be greeted with this window. And from here, we want to type in ABD devices. Once you press enter, you'll see this device code here, and that just confirms that the headset has been as connected with the PC itself, so it's a good thing. Next thing you know, you want to run the command, now you tear at the bottom as you can see, and you will start connecting to the actual device. Right, going back into the headset now, you want to enable this connection here, and it's very important that we do this, otherwise we'll keep the connection. Basically, once you hit OK there, boom, now you can turn the Wi-Fi off, and guess what, you're connected to the internet and this is sick now because the speed you're getting is just uninterrupted. Let's go into the virtual desktop here, yeah? let's go check it out. And bang, straight into it, no problem whatsoever here, no ping issues, no blue screens, none of that crap. You're in virtual desktop, it's stable, it's reliable, and you can see the command prompts there, packages going back and forth, you know, from your device to the computer, and this is where we want to be. So if you've got a wicked internet connection, you can utilize the bandwidth and the bitrate in VR, so obviously better clarity, performance, and easier to get in games. So yeah, this wraps up the video i hope you enjoy this one um i really wanted to get this one out because it's more superior way to getting your headset connected to your computer um if you like this content please like subscribe and i'm gonna be out on this one yeah man cheers